Welcome to the Biotech Workshops. Today we're going to take a look at the pair of Xboxes I got from my sister who was tossing them out. Um, I've actually had these down here kicking around in a paper bag for, um, I don't know, a few months. But uh, decided to finally start collecting in earnest for it after watching a Metal Jesus Rocks video about some Xbox exclusives. Um, because there really are some great games for the consoles. Things like um, Ninja Gaiden Black or the Otagi series. Kingdom Under Fire, uh, Gun Valkyrie got its start here, and uh, who can forget Shenmue 2, all of which are Xbox exclusives. Um, there's quite a few more too that are excellent games. Kind of a console that doesn't get a lot of love. Um, and it's actually great to collect for now since I think you know most of those games were two, three bucks. Actually, Atagi was probably the most expensive. I think, um, I don't know, scratch that, it was like ten bucks. Shenmue 2, complete with the DVD, like the extra uh, movie DVD, I think maybe it was 20 bucks off of eBay. <laughs> so super cheap to collect for, um, and you get some quality titles. But there are some hardware problems on the original Xbox. Um, the two biggest ones are problems with the disc tray not opening or closing because the belt wears out. Um, that's very irritating to deal with. The other is this little guy, this little fit one farad uh, super capacitor. Um, this one's fine, but over time a lot of these will begin to open up and leak because of the aerogel that they use. And that stuff is incredibly corrosive inside of here, much more than a regular cap. Um, it'll start eating the traces off your board and eventually kill the Xbox. Now you can just pluck this out and remove it if you have an Xbox that isn't the most recent revision like this guy. This is a version 6. Um, the version 6's, if you pluck it, will not boot correctly, so you have to replace it. Um, all this really does is manage your clock settings, which uh, you'll know you have one going bad when every time you turn on your Xbox, you're greeted by, you know, a uh, date and time screen. <laughs> so good to replace before it burns out your Xbox. Um, and I think I can show you some of the drive problems, actually, on this guy. Um, this is the one I actually use more... This is going to be my backup to version 6, and this is, I think, a version 1.2 or 1.3. has the same um, Samsung drive, not the crappy Thompson. And uh, this has the older video chip in it, where this has a custom Microsoft chip that causes problems with games like Gun Valkyrie and Panzer Dragoon if you play them in HD, or anything um, like 480i or 480p. It'll cause the games to crash and not boot or get corrupted. Um, so maybe not as desirable as some of the older versions that are in good shape. Um, but here's my 1.3 and the drive problem this one has. Now, you'll find it ejects just fine if you have a disc in the drive. So, I mean, certainly one solution is to leave a disc in the drive at all times, right? But who wants to do that? And there you'll see as soon as we pull the disc out, nothing. You can hear the motor spin, but it will not retract until you push it and then will not eject so that's very very common but it is fixable as we have done in this one here um, we'll go over that and then uh, we'll take this apart and I'll show you some of the other things I like to do to get these straightened up and how we fix that super cap this is just blinking the red because I don't have the AV connection plugged in so that's completely normal for now um, but yeah let's crack this open 